Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back here to the Rectory Chapel. We are talking this month about St. Joseph, uh, one of the great saints of our Catholic Christian tradition, a great model of faith. Um, we're in a year dedicated to St. Joseph. We'll talk about that as we go along here throughout the next 31 days. Uh, but I thought especially since we have the Solemnity of St. Joseph on March 19th, we could actually talk a lot about him uh, from scripture, from sacred tradition, uh, from life in general. So I thought we could start with kind of the biblical foundations of St. Joseph. Interesting to note that he is named specifically within the Gospels of Matthew and Luke and even the Gospel according to St. John, but within Mark, uh, there's only a vague kind of allusion to Joseph. Um, when there's a question about Jesus, isn't he the carpenter's son? And then the, pe the people, <laughs> the crowd asks, the son of Mary. Um, within the Gospel of Matthew, we hear that he is part of the line of King David. Um, that's part of the genealogy that's there. It's also uh, present within the genealogy in the Gospel of St. Luke. And then we also get the instance within Matthew's Gospel about Joseph having a couple of dreams. So this depiction here behind me is the second dream that Joseph had to lead the Holy Family from Bethlehem to escape Herod into Egypt and then came back. Uh, so the biblical foundations are pretty clear. Joseph, a righteous man, he was part of the line of King David, um, betrothed, married to our Blessed Mother, uh, to the Virgin Mary there in Nazareth, worked as a carpenter, um, not maybe necessarily exclusively as we think of it with just uh, working on woodworking, uh, but kind of applied to all sorts of things, kind of a fix-it man. Um, and so that provides kind of the biblical basis for what we know about St. Joseph. His name from the Hebrew means God will add, and certainly God added graces uh, to his life by bringing our Blessed Mother and then Jesus into it. So may God bless you through the prayers of St. Joseph throughout this month of March, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Take care and we'll see you tomorrow, God willing.